Welcome to Rebel Squadron. The Empire is spreading terror across the galaxy, and we need your help to break its iron grip. It is time to bring the pain. Recruit. Welcome back, recruit, to week two of Mod Inventory Management. So to recap on that, uh, your Tier E White Mark V mods, you're going to want to bump up by, you know, if they're sitting at level one, you're going to want to go ahead and level them straight up to 12, just so you can reveal all of those stats. When you, you know, for the greens, you're going to want to level them to nine automatically. It's the same same thing to reveal the remaining stats with the blue you're gonna you know want to level up to six and with the purple you're gonna level up to three uh, so and then the yellow you don't have to level up at all you can already see all of the stats that's one of the <laughs> one of the things that makes the yellow so nice and also one of the keys you know to leveling these is that once you do find a mod with speed on it, you know, let's see if I, let's see if I got something else here. I also don't necessarily need the filter. If you click on the particular mod shape, it'll bring up that all the mods you have for that slot. So you can either use the filter or just use that little shortcut. So let's see this one. Oh, no speed, just looking for a little speed. I got a need for speed. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. I may have already gone through all of my speeds at the yellow level. So, unfortunately, we might not have an example. Hmm. Because the, the yellow level is definitely the easiest one to to manage because of that. So now with the the arrow mods, uh, they are a little bit different. These are the only mods that have speed as the primary stat, as you can see with this one. So you bump it up. Yeah, let's go ahead and bump it up all the way and boom that gives you 30 speed total in this case it brought up the crit chance protection and health and yeah so this is the only stat with a primary stat of speed and it gives your character a really nice speed boost along with all of those secondary stats so that's something to think something to think about now the reason i was trying to show you this so, all right, you know, uh, it's not looking like I've got any more yellow tier speed um, speed mods. So let's go ahead and take it this purple here, Mark V tier B, and we'll go ahead and bring it up to three just to reveal those that last stat. Now, at this point, now you can see that it has speed on it. You don't want to stop here. Because, and here's why, because if you leave it, if you leave it at this level, when you're, when you're filtering for say, uh, speed on the secondary stat, you can also sort it for speed. So the mods with the highest amount of speed are going to end up at the top. And as you can see, I've got some greens, some blues that have more speed than some of those other higher tiers. So if if your mod is sitting at level three, 
and you still got plenty of levels to where you got the possibility of increasing that speed you're gonna be missing out because you're you're not gonna realize that you might have a mod sitting there at least has the potential to have a higher speed level so you want to make sure once you do find one with speed that you want to keep you want to make sure you level it up to level 12 minimum just in case it does give you that extra speed boost hmm <laughs> Now in this case, we weren't so lucky. We did not get any additional speed on this one. So it's already a purple. You can, uh, if you want, you can slice it up to yellow tier A and see if you get, you know, get lucky with a final uh, stat boost on speed. Uh, that's, you know, with the, with the resource cost, that's entirely up to you and how much you're willing to gamble on it. Because if you don't get that speed boost, uh, this stat's going to be like the like bare minimum placeholder that you're going to want to use because uh, even if you were to if it stays at 5 even if you were to slice it up to the mark 6 tier E gold level you're only going to get a speed of 6 total and that's really not worth the resources so yeah this one I have to think about it I'm probably going to sell it though and don't you know don't let it the, the modding system is pretty complex so don't let it overwhelm you it makes for a challenging and more dynamic and more you know unpredictable game and which is what sets galaxy of heroes apart from other similar types of games but you know especially if you have a busy life it can it can get pretty overwhelming so worst case you know worst case scenario bare minimum speed is king if you need to keep it simple, keep it simple. If there's no speed, go ahead and sell it. If the if it's if it's got speed but it's not very good speed, go ahead and sell it. Don't stress about it. Don't worry about it. Keep it simple and keep it fun. Now, if you're looking to be more competitive and whatnot, then yeah, you're gonna wanna <laughs> you're gonna wanna spend a bit more time trying to you know sort them out and whatnot. But worst case scenario. You know, keep keep it simple, and you definitely want to stay on top of your mod inventory management because if your if your inventory fills up, you're gonna end up with mods stuck in your inbox, and that's <laughs> that's that's just a little annoying. When you got that little red indicator, you have all of those uh, mods sitting in there. And you can't really do anything with them until you clean out your inventory. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's once in a once in a while at least you want to sit down and just you know spend a decent amount of time with uh, your inventory management there. And just so you know, so like with the credits that you're spending on leveling these, uh, when you sell the mod, you decide not to keep it, you will get some of those credits back. So you're not losing out on everything that you're putting into it. It's not going to be nearly as much as what you spend on it. But it's not going to be a complete waste at least. But all in all, uh, you have very little control over what kind of mods you do end up with. This, uh, this, this mod inventory management guide will hopefully help you make the process easier and more efficient. And you know waste fewer resources trying to find those top tier mods and it's definitely a gamble um if you like to go to las vegas you'll probably have fun more fun with it but ultimately it's up to you how far you want to level them or slice them or spend those resources so, yeah the more you do it the easier it's gonna get and if you don't stay on top of your inventory management, you're never going to know what you have sitting in your inventory. So <laughs> it's entirely possible that you're sitting on a on a gold mine there without even realizing it. Well, hopefully uh, this video helps with your mod inventory management, and hopefully helps make sure that you don't miss out on good mods that are sitting in your inventory. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video.
I'll see you in the cantina, recruit. This is Rebel Squadron out. Recruit dismissed for graduation ceremony.